Hello everyone, welcome to another day in Shroud the Avatar. We find ourselves in game today with our new character Darth Vader. And I thought I would look at the abilities that you can get in the game and how you train them and such like. There are various combat abilities in the game starting from shields down to blades, light armor, ranged armor, bludgeon, heavy armor, and pole arms. Now you can train any one of these at any time or even all of them even though it would be not advisable to train all of them. So at the moment we've got an archer and then to train all you have to do is have an up green arrow. If you decide you don't want to train you either have an up green arrow or you can get a, a brown arrow that will maintain it so it won't lose any XP or you can have no training or you can even have a red arrow which will then release XP back into the pool. Because when you kill a creature or complete a quest you'll gain XP into your pool and if you're training ability like this one once the green bar gets to the top it will then train to the next level and it will be taking XP out of the pool. Now to get your train, training up you need to see the combat trainer so we'll just pop into Soul Town to where the combat trainer is and we will buy one of the skills in the archery tree. This could be any tree that you would want to go for if you're a maid, mage, you've got the magic trees further down, the second row down you've got the magic, if you like the magic circle. Here's our combat trainer we're going to talk to. As you can see when you talk to the combat trainer, it gives you ones that you can buy off of him. Now, you can only buy this row here, in whichever it is, the second row, you need to have 20 in your first row. To go from this row to this row, you must have 40 in this one before you can go to this one here and the same going further down the tree. Now these ones down here have no currency value to them, which means this trainer doesn't train them. You need to go to the advanced trainer for that. Which seems we're in archery. It happens to have in Soul Town the archery veteran trainer, or master trainer, sorry. And he will actually train all of the skills but only his particular type of skill. But he will train you these skills down here. Once you've got to your combat trainer or your veteran trainer or master trainer, you click on the one that you want to buy. If you can buy it, you will then come up. If not, it will say that you don't have the skill to actually buy it. It will automatically put the up arrow in the training, so that means it's automatically ready for training. Now there are two types of tiles in the game, cards or whatever you want to call them. You have the active ones which use focus, you have passive ones which get trained every time you do the action in that group so every time we fire an arrow this passive one will gain out of the tree out of the board experience sorry as well as if we were firing this off and it was training it would come out board experience as well so passive skills for training no matter which skill you're using and of course you can target particular skills for training So now what we'll do 
is we will just mark a few of these on the HUD. I'm just putting them over on the right hand side of the screen and I'm going to use the little pins to hold them into place. And I'm going to set this group all for training and I'm going to go out and find some combat so we can actually see the bars actually train. So we'll just go out to one of the instances this time. One of the local instances where you can gain some experience as a new player. So up we go, just heading on our way out. Past guard Stanley, if you haven't talked to him, you need to talk to him to get the quests. Past the camp where there's quite a few quests awaiting you if you haven't done them. Past the watchers. And we'll go out into the land of Novia. And here we find ourselves on the lovely overworld. Go up to our first instance in the game, the East Perennial Trail, which is a one skull instance. So we'll just enter East Perennial Trail whilst it's loading. For those of you that might be new to my videos, if you can click on the subscribe channel button in the Skeggy Media channel, you'll get to know when more of my content comes out. Here we are, back in the game. We're in the East Perennial Trail. Now when you enter an instance, if you look round, you'll see a little stake with a number of skulls on it, which dictates the level of hardness or ability of the area, so this is a one skull area. So we should be able to navigate this with some ease. So just have a look around, see what we find. There's a chicken coop here, which we can, of course, kill a chicken. We won't give it a skin. That will give us a nice little chicken carcass, which you can sell, of course. If you have a look around, let's have a look in the house, shall we? Is anything of interest? Can't see anything in here. Break the cart, got a bit of gold out of it. Head on out. See if we can find something to kill. Ah, what we've got going on over here? Got an archer and some zombies, look. Now we'll take on the archer. Zombie corpse. Get a bit of gold off them, some corpse wax. Of course, the archer, we're going to get a bit of gold in his bow, a couple of arrows. And the green bar has already gone up a little bit in this one here. Which this is an ammo scavenger, so this means we will ha have the chance of keeping some of our bows or some of our arrows cut down the amount of arrows that we use. It's a crocodile. There we go. Skin the crocodile. 
We actually leveled up on strength because that's another passive skill that's always training. Which is a good good one because as I say that, that will increase our carrying capacity in the game. That's what we got last time we were playing. Let's see if we can get some of these other skills training up with the bear over here. skills we were training so now the chance of us not using an arrow or losing an arrow just increased by a little bit so you can see how the actual skills work and how you train them in the game and you don't want to be training too many skills at any one time so you want to emphasize on what you want to training so if you train in everything you'll only slowly train through the tree whereby if you specialize in a few things then you'll train your character a lot quicker the other types of skills that you get in the game of course are crafting skills which aren't linked to your it has its own pool which those go up when you harvest and those go down when you actually craft so that is different from the adventuring pool, which is what we've got here. Oh, there's another player attacking over there. So he's out. Killing there. He's using swords. He's actually using a two handed sword, which is a bludgeoning weapon, I believe. So he won't be training in archery. Just carry on through, see if we can find something else. Ah, here's a camp. leveled up heightened awareness which has given us extra focus which is another passive ability so you can see how the skilling up of tiles is working in the game over encumbered but carrying a little bit more than last time you can see the one skull instances aren't too hard to come into and to complete they're always worth exploring a bit find out you can find in them. Obviously some form of altar here, the corpse on it. But I think the other player being around here, he's running around killing things as well, which means that there aren't many baddies for us to find. What we'll do. We'll just end this video here about training your skills 
the Shroud of the Avatar. Maybe not. We will just take down this lovely skeleton mage. Then we'll end the video. There we go. Let's just exit the area. See if we find anything else on the way out. This little house that we found on the way in. Just leave the instance. I'll see you next time on the game Shroud of the Avatar. If you have liked it, please do click the like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you'll know when more of my content comes out.